In this video, we are going to show you how to diagnose subacromial pain syndrome. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Subacromial pain syndrome, formerly known as subacromial impingement, is the most frequent cause of shoulder pain. It is an umbrella term for injuries of the subacromial space, which include rotator cuff tendinopathy, partial thickness tears and bursitis. Michener et al. from the year 2009 have come up with a test cluster of five different tests to diagnose subacromial pain syndrome. With three or more positive tests out of five, the positive likelihood ratio increased to 2.93. Less than three positive tests led to a negative likelihood ratio of 0.34. Due to the low change in post-test probability, this test battery has low clinical value in the diagnosis of subacromial pain syndrome. The first test is the Hawkins-Kennedy test, which is said to compress the rotator cuff tendons in the subacromial space. To perform this test, bring your patient's shoulder into 90 degrees of forward flexion and support it on your arm by putting your hand on your patient's unaffected shoulder. Then perform passive internal rotation. This test is positive if your patient's familiar pain is reproduced. The second test is the near test, which is also described to cause compression in the subacromial region. To perform this test, have your patient in sitting position. With one hand, depress the scapula, internally rotate your patient's shoulder with your other hand, and bring it into maximal flexion passively. This test is positive if your patient's pain is reproduced. The third test is the painful arc, which is described to compress the supraspinatus tendon in the subacromial space. To perform this test, have your patient standing and ask him to slowly abduct his arms. This test is positive if your patient experiences pain between 45 to 60 and 120 degrees of abduction. The fourth test is the empty can test, which applies tension to the supraspinatus tendon via muscle contraction. To perform this test, have your patient in standing or sitting position and ask him to elevate his arm to 90 degrees in the scapular plane. Then ask your patient to internally rotate his shoulders and to resist your force in downward direction. This test is positive if your patient's familiar pain is provoked or if weakness is detected compared to the other side. The last test is resisted shoulder external rotation, which also applies tension to the supra and infraspinatus tendon via muscle contraction. To perform this test, have your patient in sitting position with his elbow flexed to 90 degrees and the elbow close to the body. Then ask your patient to resist your internal rotation force. This test is positive if you detect weakness compared to the other side or if your patient complains of his familiar pain. Alright, this is the best test cluster we momentarily have to diagnose subacromial pain syndrome. If you want to learn how to better isolate different tendons of the rotator cuff that could be affected, check out the video right next to me. As always, we hope you like our video and give it a thumbs up. Make sure to click the subscribe button and check out our website, Facebook or Instagram pages. Thank you for watching. This was Kai for PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.